this question is actually related to if something's acid base or neutral. So we have to sort of do that. When you look at something, you're like, what the heck is it? It looks like a salt. Uh, and there's no obvious hydroxide, or there's no obvious H in front. You probably want to figure out what the heck's going on. So I'll go over here on kind of scratch paper. NH4Br, you go, okay, NH4 plus Br minus. NH4 plus Br minus, just rewrite them. And you say, oh, let me write the conjugate of that. HBr, what is HBr? Strong acid. It's a strong acid. Strong acid, so this is neutral. NH4 plus, we already did, what is it? Acid. It's an acid, yeah, one of those weak acids. So this, overall, is acidic, because you have an acid and a neutral. It better have been acidic, because they gave you a K. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the came. So the BR here is just irrelevant. Forget about it. If something's neutral, as far as considering pH, it's irrelevant. So just erase it. Is that okay? So that's the compute. Now, there you go. Now you just do it as a normal problem. And I think this is in section, probably saw an example on this in 16.7 where you're doing something that don't totally look like acid base because they're charged species or they're called salts. But otherwise the math is totally the same. You add water and it loses a proton because it's an acid. Uh, there we go. There's your standard Ka. That's the Ka is for that reaction in particular. There you go. Ice. Whenever so whenever you want pH, or percent ionization, or equilibrium concentration, you must use the ice table. Yeah. Did we only write the ammonium ion? This is ammonia, sorry. Sorry, ammonia, ammonia ion. For, um, because it was basic, that's the only thing that's really acting on it? It's actually acidic. I'm sorry, that's what I mean. Yeah, because the BR is neutral. Okay. Uh, think in chem to a spectator ion. Oh, okay. All neutrals are spectator ions. Gotcha. So, when you look at your periodic table, any conjugate on the strong is considered a spectator. So that would be anything in the first two columns, alkali, alkali, earth. The halogens not including fluorine, so chlorine, bromine, iodine, and other conjugates of strong, so uh, like nitrate, is another spectator. So just going to spectate, erase it, and do the problem from there. Okay. Yeah, it's totally irrelevant material. So, you put the 0 0.2 here, that's given, 0.2 molar, ignore the water because it's a liquid, and everything else is zero. You always put zeros when you're doing a weak acid or weak base sort of calculation. It, by the way, it's not true in this case, if this was a strong acid, say, would you use the ice table? No, you got it, no. Strong acids, strong bases, never use the ice table. Okay? So, Why is that? What's that? Why is that? Uh, because it goes 100% to the right. Gotcha. So, if this, and it's not, but if it was a strong acid, 0.2 molar, this would be 0.2 molar. So you got your H3O plus, pH is minus uh, H3O plus, you're done. Okay. You don't even need the ice table. So yeah, the reason is it goes 100% to the right. This happens to be a weak acid, you must use the ice table. If it was a weak base, you must use the, the ice table. So if it's a strong acid, how would it be uh, determine that pH? Is there no, an alternative method? Is yeah, it? yeah. You would use pH is minus log oh. HCO plus. You're done. This number given is this number. Done. That's it. So it's much, much easier. Any strong acid or strong base uh, question is... I don't think you'll like this word, but it's considered trivial. It's just so easy, it falls right out of your brain. Uh, the problems here, these are kind of like mid-level problems. When we get to the next chapter, they'll get more, more complicated. And you will, by that time, consider the strong acid, strong base pH calculation super easy. At this point, maybe not, because you just learned it.
This has to go to the right, minus x plus x plus x, because you have yeah, plus x is where the 0 is. 0 0.2 minus x, x, x. Kb, oh, oh, sorry, Ka is equal to ammonia concentration minus H3O plus concentration all over NH4 plus concentration. Plug in, that's x squared over 0 0.2 minus x. You could use the quadratic from here. You already know what Ka is. I'm just going to make it easier and assume that x is a lot smaller than 0 0.2. That's going to be a good assumption because Ka is super tiny. This Ka is so small, it's definitely going to work. So you'll get Ka equals x squared over 0 0.2. By the way, Ka is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. You just solve for x here. You multiply by 1, 2, take the square root. pH, when you get there, you still have to use this formula. Even though it's a, a weak, you're still going to use the same formula. The nice thing about strongs, everything from here all the way to here, you skip if it was strong. You don't do anything in the middle. So, this H3O plus is whatever the value of x is, which you solve right here. And you won't need the quadratic. So you're not going to use a quadratic in most, in almost all cases if it's a weak acid or weak base. You won't need the quadratic anymore. Only really for chapter 15 problems are you going to use a quadratic formula. Uh, yeah. pH is four point nine. Thank you. 4.9, and that's less than 7, so it has to be an acid. So, good. We better get, you know you have to get a number between 0 and 7 <laughs> if it's, you know, acidic setup. It better between, be between 7 and 14 if it's a basic setup. So if this question was, like, for a base, like, say you get a new base and they uh -huh. asked to find the pH, yeah. you would get the OH concentration out? Would you? Yeah, yeah, and so, the, go ahead. So you would um, have to change that to H3O plus? Kind of yes. So if it was a base, for example, if it was NH3, I know that's a base, you add water still just like before, just like this one. Mm -hmm. But then it goes NH4 plus plus OH minus. This is a KB. It's going to turn out to be x squared over whatever the concentration is after you make your assumption. Mm -hmm. It's always this formula, by the way. So the answer is always k squared of km, if you want an uber shortcut. Uh, and so that would give you the hydroxide concentration? And this, you're right, would be always oh, my Sorry, I forgot what I was, where I was going. Yeah. So this now, however you want to do it, I go how I do it, POH is negative log of OH minus. That's POH now. So you have to see what they want, pH or POH. But pH now then would be 14 minus POH. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks.